another deck profile. So, as you guys know, I've been playing a lot of Master the last couple of weeks. If you guys want to see some more content, subscribe, all that good stuff. But today we're talking about the XYZ event, which is live. Funny enough, we played this event exactly, well, around about a year ago, and we played Zoo. Zoo is a very good deck in Master Door because of Dryden. Dryden makes his deck really, really good, super consistent. I think, yeah, you so many non-engine slots. If you look at the deck already, you're probably like, wow, this, this deck is uh, pretty mid-rangey. I think it's the definition definition of mid-range. So, uh, yeah, uh, XYZ event. There's three decks you want to look out for. Zodiac, Sprite, and Exosister. They're the best sort of decks. I think Euron are like bouncing around, but those are the three decks you want to uh, focus on, the three matchups. This uh, this event gives you 3,000 gems. So if you watched my re uh, recent deck profile, for the Legend Anthology deck profile, on my Salaman Great mid rangey sort of uh, strategy, that's 3,000 gems. Plus, if you play this format, it's another 3,000 gems. So that's 6,000 6, gems you can potentially get while playing Master Duel. And if you guys aren't planning on playing this format or any of the Challenger Cups, but you want to play in the future or potentially qualify for Worlds, it's a really good opportunity just to grind out Master Duel, stock up on uh, gems and dust, just to smash it out when you want to do a, a big playthrough and try and get like an invite to Worlds or try and play competitive ladder. Really good opportunity. Two events run in, 6,000 gems. I'm going to show you guys some really cookie cutter debt list that you can just steal and try out and just farm basically the ladder and max them out in a couple of hours. So this is XYZ event festival. So only XYZ summoning is allowed. I think Zodiac is probably one of the better decks along with Sprite and Exosister. I was playing this deck uh, for quite a bit. I was also playing Sprite, which I will show tomorrow on a deck profile that I've got lined up. It's literally scheduled, ready to go. So subscribe, share, all that good stuff. Um, I'm going to be showing that deck profile. But first, we want to go over Zoo. So if you guys aren't familiar with Zoo, it's a basically a one-card XYZ engine that gives you loads of utility uh, with the Zodiac monsters. You have additional effects. But if you want, guys want to take the time to read the Zodiac monsters, I'm just going to show you how to sort uh, to deck build for the event to counter the decks that you're probably going to see on ladder. So let's start things out with the actual Zoo engine itself. Uh, we played one Buddy Blaster. I, I well. One bloody blast. I think it's probably good to play one just in case you play the spell heavy targeting deck. Striker really isn't the format. I was playing this deck on ladder when Striker was really good in the in the format, but um, Striker isn't really here. So basically, what it does it prevents uh, spell uh, or spell uh, targeting on your X Y Z monsters. It comes up now and then if like a book of moon, but it's good to have utility. Uh, three Whiptail is the uh, the attack from hand, and it can ba it can banish a opponent's monster uh, after damage calculation, which is very very important just to get rid of um, sort of boss monsters your opponent has. Thoroughblade is a normal summon, discard a card, draw a card, and Ram Ram prevents uh, trap card targeting, which is very very relevant in this format. So that's sort of the Zoo engine. We also play uh, two Tenki as well because it's at two and it's basically another Zoo. Um, this ratio was absolutely fine. I never bricked on them. I never saw too many, saw too few. Uh, yeah, so it was 9, 10. Yeah, it was 12. So 12 in 40 cards. What's that about? Not just over 90% to C1. Just, yeah, around 90% to C1. So pretty good. Uh, also, play Desires. So it always bumps up this ratio a bit more. Desires is really it's like the freest draw to in this deck. There is a debate to play Pot of uh, Duality. However, this disclaimer, this is a go second deck. So duality wasn't very good going second. If you want to play a go first strategy, maybe you play duality. I was playing duality before and it was really good for me. However, this sort of deck isn't really lined up to grind. I'm just trying to blow my opponent out with a, with a blowout card. Sort of establish a, th a four material Zeus and just control the boards until I can just kill them basically. So that's sort of the strategy. Um, and I didn't feel like Avarice contributed enough to that. So I wanted to play more ball breakers. So that's it for the sort of the core engine. Uh, now for like the monster utility. So we play three Vela, three Maxi, three Ash, three Nib. So these for these hand traps, Vela, very good generic. I don't think it's the best, the best utility uh, non-engine in this deck. 
in this in the bookmarks you can see three evenly three chalice three lightning storm or yeah two lightning storm um Baylor could very well be chalice chalice was very very good because of zeus if you commit to a normal if you're playing the mirror and you commit to a normal summon and they have zeus they're always going to zeus you if you have a chainable reaction card it can just shut off the turn let you establish your own zeus to wipe the board and to gain control over the game state so maybe chalice is probably better in that situation yeah i just thought Baylor was a good utility card into like multiple matchups especially if you're playing it something that you don't expect to see it's just really good to chuck it in there um maxi very important card obviously we, that's why we play 40 we want to see this card a lot <laughs> i can't stress that enough this card is so insane uh ash blossom the only reason ash Blo ash is in here well two reasons really one to hit desires two to stop maxi so ash is, is like mandatory three of in my opinion nibiru was like actually insane against the mirror and for exosister sprite can play around it but if you pierce like this uh nib and a imperm or nib and a baylor against sprite it kind of shuts off the entire board so that's sort of the game plan that we're trying to do so that's it for the sort of the monster hand traps now for the the goo right the, the spice so we played three dark hole so again exosister sprite this card beats that end board like full on it kind of it just beats it so there is a debate to play evenly because exosister sometimes can have the trap which summons two exosisters from deck however that isn't too much of an issue and if you really cared about that back row uh, that much you could just evenly them however that, that does put them in the position where they can keep uh the magnifica to just banish a card you control anyway so i thought dark hole was just really good especially because if you go in second is it board wipe right so and if you go in first you just keep it they probably break your board you just break their board back and establish your own board so dark hole for me traded a lot of value when testing it or when playing on ladder i i keep playing it personally the only card i think is cuttable is Vela from this list for a chalice um but yeah these cards are really good anyway like lightning storm chalice evenly these they're really good cards for the format uh one duster just because it's nice just to blow out back row now and then uh, you don't really need it but i thought i'd have it because we're going second anyway uh monster reborn i think is really important um it's just a, another way to play through disruption sometimes when i have it it steals out of game a little bit quicker and then when i when i don't see it i don't particularly it's a one of right it's unsearchable if you see it great you can potentially w win a game on ladder and yeah going first it's not great but going second it's just another way to win quicker or to just play through disruption so i thought having it is a one-off when you're maximum you're grinding out volume games on ladder you're gonna see it it's gonna put you up like 50 uh, 500 medals so yeah nice to have three desires two tanky two call bright and the cross and the cross out just ways to stop maxi we want to stop maxi we want, we want to stop nib people might play regeki people might play dark hole cross out's really good for that situa uh, situation a lot of the hand traps are playing hand traps people are also playing as well so cross that's really good in this sort of defined format uh call by like this card's nuts <laughs> like this card's crazy um and then infinite impermanence so that is it for the, for the main deck 40 cards really clean very easy sort of uh, strategy to play and pick up very cheap isn't very expensive i think it's a couple of vultures that you might already have so again this could be another way to just farm up dust and points and gem sorry just to hold when you want to have a really big run on Mastodor. uh for the extra deck we play all the zoos uh chaka nines at one because it revives your dryden which is very very strong in this matchup or very strong against the field in general so i can see why that card's at one uh we also play the catchy coachy dragon which is just a way to just break boards and attack for damage uh it's cuttable but we play all the really good level fours that I can sort I saw that are available to us. Like the Goose is a very good card in the Exosystem matchup. Also in the Sprite matchup, uh, they can just go Smashers to get rid of it. But I felt that um, in the Exosystem matchup, going second, if you if you can establish like a a Dryden or like even a Zeus with a Baguska, shuts off their turn and then you turn Baguska to attack to potentially kill them then uh, on your turn. The 
Uh, Vespinato, just a really, really good card. It can special summon a back level 4 or, or lower, I believe, or level 5 or lower. Yeah, so it gets you back into your zoo play, so I thought I'd play that in general. There is a, a world where in the grind game, uh, you can just play around Regeki, play around Dark Hole, because this card just gives you back that monster. So, very good. Also, 2500, which is very relevant beat stick. And then, of course, the win condition, Zeus. Very good card. I think I summoned a... Six material Zeus twice on ladder yesterday. So that was fun. So this is the deck. Really short and sweet, guys. Take it away. See how it goes. And tomorrow I've got a Sprite XYZ deck profile. So subscribe. You don't want to miss it. And I'll see you in the next one.